Hello, I'm 6997 and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up the Easy Cap on the PS3. Now there's two purposes of this video. The first is to show you how to set the Easy Cap up, but the second is also how to fix the audio on Windows 7 because Easy Cap wasn't really made for the Windows 7 so the audio doesn't work. Firstly we'll go through the requirements. The first thing things you will need are TV, PS3 and a computer or laptop. And the next things you'll need are firstly the easy cap, get about 10 quid off eBay or $12 and it looks a bit like this on the other end. What will come with that is the easy cap CD and the USB cable. What it should already have is the PS3 AV cable, AV multi I think it's called. It looks like this. You should already have it with the PS3 you bought as I said before. The next thing you will need to buy is a AV to AV cable. Now as you can see one of these is black this is the equivalent to white so if you have white then wherever I put this black one is where you put the white one. So you need that. And the second one you'll need is either the same one which I have or just the video to video cable. And the l another thing you'll need is this RCA audio to stereo jack leg cable you know, quite cheap from eBay as well. And the last thing you'll need is three Y splitters. So look yellow there and black there. And same on these. Now I'm going to show you how to set it up. Step one, connect the AV cable, the power supply and the HDMI cable to the PS3. First we're going to connect the power supply. Next, we're going to connect the HDMI. Now, the purpose of this is to see the display setting so we can change it accordingly to record. And the third thing we'll need is your this end of the AV multi cable. Now the PS3 is put away neatly, we can move on to the second step. Step two is to connect the composite end of the AV cable into the Y-splitters. So we have uh, three Y-splitters and we have the AV cable. To connect each individual part of this into a different Y-splitter. So we connect the red into the one end of one of the Y-splitters, put that to the side, put the white into another one end of the Y-splitter, put that to the side, and the last Y-splitter is connected to this. So, all connected now. Third step is to connect one end of the composite cable into the Y-splitters. So here we have our composite cable. So what I'm going to do is connect each end of this to the corresponding splitter, so yellow goes to yellow. So we just connect that to one end. And then white goes to white, or in my case black. And you connect that in. And then lastly red goes to red. The fourth step is to connect the other end of the composite cable you just connected to white splitters into your TV. So here's the cable. You connect yellow to yellow, and then white to white, or in my case, black to white. Right there, and then the last one, the red one, to the red port. The fifth step is to connect the composite video to composite video cable or the AV to AV cable to the Y splitters. Now for this part you only need to connect the video so you get the video splitter and you connect the video cable or the video part of your composite cable and you connect it into the vacant spot on the Y splitter. The sixth step is to connect the RCA part of the RCA to stereo jack 
cable into the wire splitter. So here we have the end of our RCA audio to stereo jack cable and we connect them correspondingly so the white to white or black to white and then the red to red. The seventh step is to connect the composite video cable or the video part of your AV cable to the easy cap. So we got easy cap, get the video part of it, and then get the composite video or the video part of your AV cable and connect them together. Eighth step is to turn your computer or laptop on. And now the ninth step, aka the final step, is to connect your stereo jack end and the easy cap into your laptop or computer. So firstly, as you can see, I'm connecting that into the microphone port of my laptop. So just put that in, make sure there's a little click. And then the second part is to connect the easy cap into your laptop. So you just take the cap off and stick it into the USB bit. And a green light should appear. Now let's go through what our setup should look like. So let's start the PS3. Come to the PS3, you have it at the back, you can't see clearly, but there's AV multi cable connected. It runs all the way along here. The Y splitters connect into the in part or the side volume 1 port. And now on one side of each splitter, we've got an AV cable running all the way along to your TV. And then coming back to the Y splitter, we have the one end of the other end of the composite video cable going to the easy cap and then the other end of the audio cables going along this wire into your microphone port. Here's a diagram of the whole setup which you can download by clicking the link in the description below. This next part of the video will show you how to set up the display settings and audio settings on your PS3 so that it will work with the easy cap. First we're going to turn on the PS3. Now we're going to turn on the TV and set the source to whatever you usually play PS3 on. In my case it's the HDMI, which is why I connected the HDMI at the very start of the video. So, you have to turn your video TV on, sorry. Wait for it to load. Then you click source and set it to HDMI. Now that you're on the PS3 main screen, go across to settings and then scroll down to display settings, click X, click the top option which is video output settings and here select AV Multi, the picture should look like that, click OK, click the top one and then you should say change, click X and change and now here you click source you scroll up to AV and select it and it should have changed. Now click yes. In my case it pops up like this. Don't click 576p, it won't work. Go across 69 because that's my TV. Click X for enter and it should say set audio output settings. Click that. Go down to audio input connector SCAR to AV multi. Click enter and there you have it connected to the AV. The next part will show you how to install the drivers, the software and using the software. So firstly you want to put in the CD and go to start computer and then it should be called EasyCap 2021 or whatever. Just double click that and this should appear. So you can close that now. And now the first thing you want to do is install the video studio which I've already done so I don't really need to do that anymore, but you just need to install it, follow your on-screen instructions, there you go. And then the next thing you need to install is the driver, so what you have to do is click install driver. This should pop up, click where it says setup.exe, publisher unknown, just click yes, it's fine. Wait for it to load, it should be starting like that, and then GD language, so English for me. And then click next, wait for it to prepare. And then you want to begin the installation, so click install. 
Now this might take a little while, or it might be quite quick. And what this does is put files on your computer, so that when it tries to look for the drivers, it will fail on the first thing, or on the second thing, because you've got it on your computer, it can find it and install. So now that's half installed, it's just setting up, but there's nothing to show you that, so you just have to wait for a bit. Now that is done, and it happened quite quick because I sped up the video, to click finish, and then soon a dialog should appear in the bottom, so you just click that to see what's happening, and what it does is it tries to find SMI Grabber Dev, it will first search for Windows Update, like it says here, and after waiting a bit, it should search for the files you've just installed from the CD, and it's found it. And in some cases, there should be something called SMUSB007 or something like that, which will fail to install. And that's alright, as long as this one works. Click close, and now the drivers have been installed. Now that you've installed the drivers, you are now free to record whatever you want using ULED Video Studio. I advise you to click the link that has appeared on your screen right now, or the link in the description below, which will take you to a video I have also made which will tell you how to use ULED Video Studio properly with the easy cap. Thanks for watching. Please like this video, comment on it, and remember, please subscribe. Peace.